Now, listen to what CNN's Van Jones had to say about the enthusiasm at the RNC. Roll it. I want to say thing. I want to say <laughs> this spirit that this guy has, you guys think this because he's drunk? He's not. This whole right. thing is like this. And it, <laughs> what, 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 yeah, he's, hey, he's hey, drunk listen. on the Hey, guys, <laughs> the last time I was in a commission that felt like this was Obama 2008. Oh, yeah. you know, there, yes. there, there's, there's, there's something happening yeah. where... You just wrote a headline, by the oh, way. What, what's that? You just wrote a headline. All right. RNC Chair Michael Watley joins me now. Michael, as Biden fades, Trump triumphs. You couldn't have written a better script for you, for you guys than that, now could you? We're very excited. What a great convention. What a great night. And really, truly hitting on the themes about all Americans and making sure that this is not just a Republican speech. It's not just a conversation with Republicans, but we're really reaching out and talking to every American family and uh, very excited about the message that President Trump delivered last night. There's some criticism of the second half of his speech in that it turned rather dark, as if he was looking for retribution when he becomes the president again. Any comment? Well, the president has been very clear that his retribution is going to be success. He is going to fight every single day for every American family. And that really was the whole theme of this entire convention. Um, obviously, we want to make sure we're going forward and we're going to be able to restore the southern border. We're going to restore the economy. We're going to restore our standing in the world. But you got to remember why. You know, when, when the president was shot, I think everybody in politics, everybody across the country needs to take a step back and understand why we're doing this and who we're fighting for. And the president took that to heart, and I think he delivered a great message last night. Uh, top Democrats are reportedly preparing for a campaign without Biden. Is that how you're operating, too, as if the, it won't be Biden at the top of the ticket? Right now, we are working on making sure that we hit our marks. We are making sure that we are going to go out and knock on those doors and make those phone calls. We are going to get out the vote. We are going to protect the ballot. We're going to make sure uh, that we are coming out of this convention focused on hitting our marks on our side of the fence. When you think about the Democratic side right now, it's not just a messenger problem. It's a message problem. They have policies that have opened up the southern border, invited 10 million illegal immigrants to come across. They have had inflationary policies. They've weakened our standing in the world. Joe Biden has doubled down on every one of those policies and every other potential candidate, whether it's Kamala Harris, Gretchen Whitmer, um, Gavin Newsom, or anybody else, has adopted those same policies and wants to take America in the same exact direction. Michael Watley, thank you very much. Uh, you must be tired out, but thanks for taking time to be on our show this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you, Michael. See you soon. Absolutely. Thanks, Kurt.